Happy Friday, everybody. Thank God we made it here. I don't know about you, but this week just drugged for me. I tried to stay busy. Wasn't happening. About Wednesday or so, it just felt like the whole week slowed down. But thank God Friday's here. A few more hours to the weekend starts. Hope you're having a great day. Hope it's beautiful where you are. Uh, here in Southeast Texas, start off kind of cloudy. Sun's starting to peak out now. So I'm supposed to have a great weekend down here. So I'm happy about that. Last weekend, regular season college basketball. Um, a lot of conferences, they're done. They're, they're starting their uh, conference tournaments already. Uh, the uh, A-Sun, Ohio Valley, Missouri Valley, uh, West Coast, Sun Belt, and I think one or two others have already started their conference tournaments. Um, we'll go over some of those games that have happened already, plus baseball and softball in full swing. We'll review some of those games, at least the upsets right now this early in the season. But hey, before we start, hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything. Uh, hey, watch it for the, you don't want to work on Friday afternoon anyway, right? So just uh, listen to it, watch it at work, act like you work and make the boss happy. All right, so let's go. We're actually going to go back to Sunday on. Sunday review. Uh, got some news here. Ex-Mississippi State hid football coach. Remember him? Zach Arnett took over for uh, for uh, Mike Leach when he passed away. Didn't do all that well last year. Uh, so Mississippi State fires him, which I think he kind of got a raw deal there, but. Oh, well. Hey, he's going to join Ole Miss as an analyst. Not sure what role that's going to be, but joining uh, Ole Miss. Joining the rivals. Maybe he's trying to stick it to them, huh? Offensive lineman, Jack Bailey. He was at Colorado for one year. He's entering the transfer portal. Uh, Texas quarterback Arch Manning. He is going to opt out of the EA Sports College Football Game 2025. I don't know, maybe he's making enough money, NIL, he doesn't need it. Uh, but it, staying at Texas, isn't he opting out of playing college football? I mean, all he's doing is ride the bench the last, what, two, three years? Um, yeah, seems like that's what's happening. Seems like he's already opted out of football staying at Texas, but I don't know. His life, he can do what he wants. West Virginia, they gave hit football coach Neil Brown an extension through 2027. Uh, turned that program around. He did. They went 9-4 and four last season. See what they do this season. Uh, Detroit Mercy not having a good basketball season. They've won one game, and they finally won that one game uh, two, three weeks ago. Uh, one and 31 this year. Well, they fired hit coach Mike Davis. So uh, they're looking for a new basketball coach. If you know how to coach basketball, apply. I mean, you can't get any worse than one and 31. So. Uh, this one here, I'm not really too crazy about. I'm sure some people are. All right, about time. Dartmouth, Dartmouth, men's back basketball team votes to join the local service union. Uh, they talk about dominoes are going to fall. Maybe other unions form between college players. Uh, you just wonder how long it's going to be until they get pissed off about something and we tune in to college football on Saturday and there's no college football because they're striking. I mean, you, you know it's going to happen eventually. It's just, it's, just one, it's just a matter of when if this keeps going on here. Um, I, I don't know. There's there's so many there's so many things that college sports could do to improve it, but uh, for some reason it just doesn't work. And one day we're going to tune in on a college football Saturday and nothing because they're all on strike. So um, thanks, Dartmouth. When that happens, be sure to uh, email Dartmouth University and – the uh, athletic department over there and tell them how much they suck when that happens. Remember, Dartmouth University started it. Indiana, they announced head basketball coach Mike Woodson. He will return next season. Uh, this is the worst season they've had under him. They are 17-13, and 9-10 and 10 in Big Ten League play. But they see something and they're going to stick with him. So there you go. All right, so let's go back. I said we're going to go back to Sunday. Number three, UConn beat 18 and 11 Seton Hall by 30. Uh, UConn's Castle, 21 points, four rebounds, followed by Klingon. He had 19 points, 11 rebounds. Eight and 13 Northern Iowa beat 19 and 12 Southern Illinois by 12. That game was tied at 34 at halftime. Uh, Northern Iowa, 17 points off of turnovers in that game. 16 and 13 Indiana beat Maryland, 83 78. 
Indiana was actually down by 10 at halftime. Uh, McBeko, 24 points, and he hit four three-pointers for the Hoosiers. St. Peter's, they moved to 16-11, beat Manhattan, 89-57. Quinnipiac moved to 21-8, they beat Siena, 71-57. Uh, Balak for Quinnipiac, 26 points. He hit four three-pointers in that game. Uh, Tice behind him had 19 points. 14-15 Iona beat 16-11 Marist. Marist did not need that loss. 71-64. That game was tied at 37 at halftime. Uh, Iona's Panzo hit six three-pointers in that one. Brown behind him had 21 points. Number 20, uh, 21-9 Nebraska beat 15-4 Rutgers, 67-56. Uh, Dominga from Nebraska, 18 points in that game. North Texas, they moved to 16-12. They beat Eastern Carolina, 84-69. 25 and 6 Drake beat 21 and 10 Bradley 74 66. Drake's DeVries 29 points, 6 rebounds. Bradley's Leon's led the way 18 points, 6 rebounds. Drake 41% from the field. Bradley was 51%. Drake 24% three point shooting. Uh, Bradley was actually 31%. And then uh, Drake was 25 for 26 for free throws. Bradley 7 for 7. Drake had 25 total points off of turnovers. Uh, Indiana State, they moved to 26-5. They beat Murray State, 89-77. Indiana State's Conwell, six three-pointers in this game. Ended up having 24 points and 12 rebounds. Behind him, Alua, 23 points. Ohio State, they moved to 18-12. They beat Michigan, 84-61. Michigan this year is 8-22. and Uh <laughs> Man, that basketball program, uh, ooh, they need to do something. Uh, Belmont, they moved to 19 and 12 to beat Evansville, 83 66. 22 and 8, Memphis beat 18 and 11, UAB, 106 87. Memphis's Jones, 32 points, 9 rebounds. Tomlin had 28.7 rebounds. And Quinterly, 25 points. Hell of a game for those guys. Colorado, they moved to 20 and 9. They beat Stanford by 10. Uh, the Silver from Colorado, 27 points, 11 rebounds. Simpson had 22 points. Baseball on Sunday. Number 10, Clemson beat number 19, South Carolina, 5-4. Number 9, Vanderbilt beat number 15, Texas, 14-11. Each team had 15 hits in that game. Southeastern Louisiana beat number 11, East Carolina, 11-9. Each team had 11 hits in that one. Number 25, Dallas Baptist beat number 16, Alabama, 7-5 in 12 innings. Dallas Baptist Pitchers had 12 strikeouts. Alabama's pitchers, they had a combined 16 strikeouts. Arizona beat number 20, Indiana, 12 to 1 in seven innings. Oregon beat number 24, uh, Santa Barbara, 16 to 9. Softball, Louisiana beat number 1, OU, 7 to 5. UL, 10 hits, one inning, or one error. OU, 11 hits, three errors. And I want to say I read that as the first game Oklahoma has lost. For softball game, Oklahoma's lost in like 71 games. Something crazy like that. Uh, number 10, Stanford beat number 3, Georgia, 3-1 three to one in 9 innings. Not a good weekend for Georgia. Jacksonville, they beat number 12, Florida State, 6-5. to five. Jacksonville won with 3 hits. That's all they hit the ball 3 times. But FSU lost after hitting the ball 10 times. It lost with 10 hits. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, Fordham beat number 14, Kentucky, 10-8. But Kentucky bounced back and beat UNC Wilmington 8-1 in that tournament. Monday going to basketball. Number 9, Duke beat NC State by 15. Duke had 21 points off of turnovers. Number 11, Baylor beat 19-11, and 11, Texas by 8. Baylor was down by 14. That is the 14th win by Baylor over Texas the last 17 times they have played. Uh, 10 and 19, Morgan State beat 16 and 12. North Carolina Central, 88 79. Uh, Morgan State's Thomas, 30 points in that game. Norfolk State, they are 20 and 10. They beat Mid -East, Maryland Eastern Shore by 19. 20 and 10, Texas AM Corpus Christi beat New Orleans, 73 to 60. McNeese on a roll still, 27 and 3. They beat Houston Christian, 87 69. Going to be interesting in that tournament to see how McNeese does against the big boys around the country. Northern Colorado is 19-12. They beat Northern Arizona, 82-74. 14-17, Montana State beat 20-11. Weber State, 76-64. Uh, Montana State, they hit 13 three-pointers in that game. 
Montana, they are 21 and 10. They beat Idaho State 79 65. Eastern Washington is 21 and 10. They beat Sacramento State 91 88. Uh, one game in baseball, Minnesota beat Pacific 12 to 5. Softball, no upsets. But number two, Texas, they played Penn State. They won 7 to 1. And number eight, Tennessee beat Longwood 7 to nothing. Moving on to Tuesday, number 13, Purdue beat number 12, Illinois 77 71. Illinois led this game by six at halftime. Uh, Purdue's Edie does it again, 28 points, eight rebounds. Illinois' Domask does it again, 20 points, four rebounds. Purdue, 48% from the field. Illinois was 46%. Purdue was 56% shooting from three-point land, where uh, Illinois was 25%. 71% free throw shooting for Purdue. Illinois was a little bit better. They were 81%. Uh, Purdue had more assists, 20 and uh, but Purdue or Illinois have more points in the paint. They scored forty points in the paint. Uh, out they Purdue outscored Illinois forty three to thirty one in the second half of this game. Number seven North Carolina beat Notre Dame eighty four fifty one. Davis for the Tar Heels twenty two points four rebounds six assists. He hit four three pointers in that game. Uh, Tar Heels they hit eleven total three pointers. Number thirteen Auburn beat Missouri one hundred one to seventy four. Five Auburn players have double-digit points in that game. Number 14, Kansas beat Kansas State 90-68. to Kansas had 15 points off of turnovers and 10 more rebounds in Kansas State. 21-9 Florida. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you say uh, took them behind the woodshed because the score wasn't all that widened, but uh, Florida just looked great over Alabama. They beat number 16 Alabama 105-87. Florida's Richards, 23 points, 5 rebounds. Clayton Jr. had 22 points. Gators did dominate this game from start to finish. I mean, it just, the whole the whole game. They had 17 points off of turnovers. Alabama did have eight more fouls in this game, so all that combined did not help them. 19-10 uh, UNLV beat number 21 San Diego State, 62-58. UNLV's Thomas, 19 points. Number 24, South Florida beat Tulane, 85-72. Number 25, Dayton beat St. Louis, 100-83. 15 and 16, Maine beat 29, UMass Lowell, 71-65. Maine shot 42% from the field. UMass Lowell, only 32%. Uh, 21-11, Purdue Fort Wayne beat Rob Moore, 78-63. 20-12, Stetson beat Queens, 83-71. 21-9 Clemson beat 20-11 Syracuse, 90-75. Syracuse, 48% from the field. or Clem Yeah, Syracuse, 48% from the field. Clemson shot 56% from the field and made 11 three-pointers in that game. 19-11 Providence beat Georgetown, 71-58. Carter for Providence, 24 points, 12 rebounds. 16-14 uh, Georgia beat 20-10 Ole Miss by three. Ole Miss, 39% from the field. Georgia was 44%. 10 points off the turnovers for the Bulldogs. Um, Ole Miss, they were on fire at the beginning of the year, but they've been losing some games here the last couple, over the last couple months. Duquesne beat VCU by 10. Both are 19 and 11. 13 and 17, Eastern Michigan beat 21 and 9 Akron by 1. Eastern Michigan, 17 points off the of turnovers, and they have more points in the paint. Uh, 1911 Toledo beat Miami of Ohio, 97-63. 25-6 Vermont beat New Hampshire by four. 1912 Bryant beat Albany by four. 15-16 uh, Northern Alabama beats 20-12 Lipscomb by two in the A-Sun quarterfinal. Uh, Northern Alabama's Johnson, 11 points, five rebounds, including the game winner at the buzzer. Uh, 21 9 Texas Tech beat Oklahoma State 75 58. 20 and 10 Oklahoma beat Cincinnati by three in overtime. 14 and 16 Georgia Tech beat 18 and 12 Wake Forest by one. 20 and 10, 20 and 10, 20 and 10. This, sorry if you're under 18. Uh, beat Florida State 88 73. 25 and 6 Nevada beat 21 and 9 Boise State by 10. Nevada's McIntosh 26 points in that game. Uh, baseball. Number seven, Texas A&M beat number 24, Texas 9-2. Number 16, North Carolina beat number 22, Campbell 7-3. Softball, number nine, Tennessee beat number 11, Clemson 2-1 in nine innings. Moving on to Wednesday, number one, Houston beat Central Florida by eight. 
Number two, UConn beat number eight, Marquette, 74-67. Uh, Caravan for UConn, 23 points, five rebounds. He hit five three-pointers in that game. Jones led the way for Marquette, 18 points, three rebounds. UConn, 44% from the field. Uh, Marquette was 38%. Marquette was 43% from the field. UConn hit 13 three-pointers in that game. Uh, free throws, UConn, 7 for 12. Marquette was 9 for 16. Uh, UConn, more rebounds and more assists. But Marquette did have more points off of turnovers and more points in the paint, but still managed to lose. So, oh well. Number four, Tennessee beat number 17, South Carolina, 66-59. Tennessee's uh, Neck, is that how you say his name? Neck, Tech? 26 points, three rebounds. He hit five three-pointers in that game. Johnson led the way for South Carolina, 18 points, five rebounds. Tennessee, 36% from the field. South Carolina was 38. Tennessee, 19 for 22 from the free throw line. Uh, South Carolina was only 50%. Gamecocks did have better numbers in most categories. Uh, they were down 14 in the second half, battled back to a three-point deficit. Uh, what kind of ended that was Tennessee hit seven free throws in a row, and that kind of Knock South Carolina back down. Uh, number six, Iowa State beat number 20, BYU, 68-63. BYU is up by 11 at halftime. Iowa State's Lipsies, 19.6 rebounds. Saunders for BYU, 20 points. He came off the bench to do that. Iowa State was 37% from the field. BYU was 39%. Iowa State, 12 for 18 on free throws. BYU was 11 for 16. Iowa State... 18 points off of turnovers, and they did commit less fouls. BYU, more rebounds, more assists, more points in the paint, uh, and they lost by five. Iowa State is undefeated at home this year. First time in 23 years. They are 18-0 at Hilton Coliseum. Number 15, Kentucky beat Vanderbilt by 24. That was a five-point game at halftime. Number 22, Utah State beat San, San Jose State by 20. Uh, Darius Brown for Utah State, seven three-pointers in that game. 19-11 Seton Hall beat 17-13 Villanova by 10. 20-10 Central Connecticut beat St. Francis, Pennsylvania, 71-62. Merrimack, they're 20-11, beat Long Island, 72-66. TCU, 20-10, they beat West Virginia, 93-81. Charlotte, 18-11, they beat Rice by 5. 18 and 12, Michigan State beats 20 and 10, Northwestern, 53 49. Wildcats, 3 and 3 in their last six games. Loyola Chicago, they moved to 22 and 8. They beat Davidson by 10. George Mason, they're 19 and 11. They beat Rhode Island, 69 51. 15 and 15, George Washington beat 18 and 11, St. Bonaventure, 86 75. Richmond, 23 and 7. They beat 18 and 12, St. Joseph, 73 66. Tennessee State, they're 18-14, beat Southern Indiana, 78-64. Butler, 18-13, beat Xavier, 72-66. UMass, 20-10, beat Fordham by two. SMU, they're 20-10, they beat East Carolina by three in overtime. Florida Atlantic, 23-7, they beat North Texas by four. Lamar, 8-13, they beat Houston Christian by 10. McNeese wins again, 28-3, beat New Orleans, 81-57. Texas A&M Corpus Christi wins again, 21-10, beat Incarnate Words, 71-52. 17-13, Indiana beats 18-12, Minnesota, 70-58. 17-13, Texas A&M beat 19-11, Mississippi State, 75-69. New Mexico, 22-8, beat Fresno State, 79-58. 8-13, Hawaii beat 18-14, Cal State Northridge by two. Baseball upsets, 9-1 Central Florida, beat number four Florida, 9-6. Central Florida's Williamson, three-run home run. Uh, all the UCF pitchers, 11 total strikeouts. Softball upsets, Louisville beat number 24 Arizona, 5-3. And moving to yesterday. Uh, number five Arizona beat UCLA by 23. Arizona shot 52% from the field. 17-14 uh, Washington. Beats their cross-state rival, number 18, Washington State, 74-68. Johnson for Washington, 23 points, followed by Brooks Jr., 22 points, 9 rebounds. Jones for Washington State, 20 points, 10 rebounds, followed by Watts, who scored 15 by coming off the bench. 
Uh, Washington, 51% from the field. Washington State, only 39%. Um, Washington, better from the field, better from three-point shooting, better from free-throw shooting. Washington State did have more rebounds. Didn't help them any. Uh, Louisiana, 19-13. They beat, West, beat Coastal Carolina, 80-66, in the second round of the Sun Belt Tournament. Belmont, they moved to 20-12. They beat Val Pisario, 86-61. First round of the Missouri Valley Conference. Colgate, 23-9. They beat Holy Cross, 81-64 in the quarterfinals of the Patriot League. Oakland, they're 21-11. They beat 21-12 Purdue Fort Wayne by 10 in the Horizon League quarters. Cleveland State beat Youngstown State by 12 in the uh, quarters of the Horizon League. Uh, Georgia Southern beat Southern Al South Alabama by 5 in the second round of the Sun Belt Tournament. Missouri State beat Murray State. 60 uh 60 to 35. Wow, in the first round of the Missouri Valley Conference top tournament. Pepperdine beat Pacific 102 to 43 in the first round of the West Coast Conference. Texas State beat Southern Miss 75-69, second round of the Sun Belt Tournament. Lehigh beat Lafayette 76-61 in the Patriot League quarterfinals. Uh, well, so we got Boston beat Navy by nine in the Patriot League quarterfinals. Bucknell beat American 80 to 57, Patriot League quarterfinals. Evansville beat uh, Illinois State by six in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. Stetson beat Jacksonville by one in the ASUN Tournament. UAB, they moved to 19 and 11. They beat Temple 100 to 72. Wisconsin is 19 and 11. They beat Rutgers 78 66. Uh, star for Wisconsin, 19.7 rebounds. Quinnipiac, 22-8. They beat Maris, 73-64. Fairfields, 19-11. They beat Consensus. Did I say Consensus? Consensus? 74-62. Uh, uh, Fairfields, Goodine, 37 points in this game. And there's a couple others that scored in the 30s coming up here in a minute. Western Illinois beat Tennessee State, 61-59 in the Ohio Valley Tournament. 17-12, North Carolina Central beat South Carolina State, 79-68. Uh, North Carolina Central's Porter, another one, 37 points in that game. Uh, Northern Kentucky beat Wright State by two in overtime in the Horizon League quarters. Austin P beat Northern Alabama by six in the A-Sun semis. 15-15, Utah Valley beat 22-8, Charlton State, 63-60. Utah Valley's Patter, 22 points in that game. Marshall beat Georgia State, 86-74 in the second round of the Sun Belt. Southern Illinois, 18-12. They beat Alabama State, 65-57. Uh, Southern's Davis, 31 points in that game. Nichols are 18-13, beat Southeast Louisiana, 80-54. Nichols West, he scored 22 points. Milwaukee beat Green Bay by 11 in the Horizon Quarters. Colorado, 21-9 now. They beat 19-11 by Oregon. I mean, 19-11 Oregon by four. By four. Uh, Colorado, they were just better from the field, three-point land and um, free-throw line in that one. Uh, Norfolk State, 21-10. They beat Howard, 77-58. 19-11 Sam Houston beats 21-9 La Tech, 72-66. Sam Houston, that's her sixth straight win. Uh, UIC beats Southern Illinois by two. Double overtime. First round of the Missouri Valley Comp Tournament. Moorhead State beat SIU Edwardsville 78-63 in the Ohio Valley Tournament. 16-13 uh, USC Santa Barbara beat Long Beach State, who's 18-13 by four. UC Santa Barbara's Mitchell, 37 points. Was that three guys that scored 37 points? Man. 18-12 UC Davis beat 20-11 UC San Diego 70-63. UC Irvine, they are 23-8, beat Cal Poly, 82-68. 13-17, Oregon State, beat 18-12, Utah, 92-85. So after what we've just seen this week and heard today, a lot of these teams are going to be counting on a deep run in their conference tournament to get to the, to get to the March Madness tournament. Uh, like we've been saying the last couple weeks, a lot of these bubble teams – they have no business losing or losing, and the bubble. There's a lot of bubble teams out there fighting and winning, trying to add. So, uh, selection Sunday is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, baseball. There were no upsets yesterday. Softball. Minnesota beat number eleven. Clemson five to three. Clemson came back 
won the second game in that double hitter, three to one. So, like I said, last weekend for regular season basketball, uh, conference tournaments already started. Big boys are starting next week. Uh, it's getting down to it, and not a lot of these bubble teams, like we said, you know, they're losing. They shouldn't be. It's not going to be surprising when some of them that shouldn't get in get in over ones that that should have gotten in but didn't. You know, you know what I'm saying. Every year it happens. You're like, why are these guys in and these guys aren't? That's what's happening right now. They're making their case for it. All right, so that's it. Y'all have a good weekend. Uh, like I said, enjoy the weekend of basketball, baseball, softball. Uh, have fun. And uh, we'll be back probably Sunday or Monday to go over everything that happened this weekend and get things set up for the next weekend or, or the next week. So uh, anyway, have fun. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you next time.